this problem we're going to be looking at curve sketching. I'm going to set, sketch a simple rational function y is x minus 1 over x minus 2. Now, uh, in doing this, you should really try and follow the set of procedures that are outlined in the calculus notes. Uh, in particular, you don't use calculus until the very end. When it comes to a rational function, uh, usually the best thing to do, to begin with at least, is to organise it so that you've got it as a proper rational function, which means that the denominator should have a higher degree than the numerator. In this particular uh, problem, this would involve, well, you can just re think of x minus 1 as x minus 2 plus 1 and divide in. So this is the same thing as 1 plus 1 over x minus 2. And we'll use either form of the function depending on what is most convenient. All right. Now, uh, the first thing we want to know is what's the domain? Where is this function properly defined? Well, it's quite clear that this function is defined for every x except x equals 2. So the domain is, uh, well, we'll write it as r minus 2. So everything in r except the point 2. The next thing we'd want to check is whether the function is uh, even or odd. And, in fact, in this case, the function is neither even nor odd. So it's not even, and it's not odd. If it were even or odd, then we'd only have to draw half the graph, and then we'd just reflect it appropriately. The next thing we want are the uh, intercepts. Where does it meet the axes? Well, uh, the first and simplest one, of course, is what happens when x equals 0, when x equals 0, y is simply uh, a half, and y equals 0 if and only if uh, x equals 1. In this case, I'm using the first version of the function because that's the easiest one to see where the uh, appropriate intercept is. Right. Uh, now, the next thing we'd want to look at are asymptotes. Well, there's clearly a vertical, a vertical asymptote when x equals 2. That's when the function is not defined. So there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. So we'll draw that in. It's about here, we'll say. That's 2. And there's also a horizontal asymptote for this particular problem, because as x goes to infinity, the x1 over x minus 2 tends to 0, so y will tend to 1. And that's this other way of writing the function that's proved to be most useful there. So we've got a horizontal asymptote given by y equals 1. OK, so that's the two asymptotes in. Now we want to know how the function behaves when it is uh, approaching these asymptotes. Well, in fact, the next thing we should do is perhaps put in the two intercepts. Uh, when x equals 0, y is a half. So we're going through a point here. And y equals 0 if and only if x equals 1. So we know the function is going through that point there. Well, how does it behave to the horizontal asymptotes first? As x goes to plus infinity, this term 1 over x minus 2 will be very small, but very small and positive. So the graph will, in fact, be just above here. And when x is going to minus infinity, 1 over x minus 2 is small and negative. So we'll be going to, uh, my, to 1 from below. So the gra function must be, the graph must be down there somewhere. How does it approach the vertical asymptote? Well, this is quite straightforward. If, uh, x is slightly bigger than 2, then 1 over x minus 2 is a very large positive number, so we're somewhere up here. 
and when x is slightly less than 2, 1 over x minus 2 is a very small negative number, a very large negative number, I should say, so we're actually down here somewhere. Now, with what we've got so far, in fact, we can more or less sketch the whole curve in. It must start here, go through a half and one and down here, and just uh, meet up there. The shape of the function here is telling us this is simple rectangular hyperbola, so that should be it. If you weren't quite sure about that, then maybe this is a case where you could use a bit of calculus just to check that there aren't any turning points anywhere. Well, this I suppose would be part six, but I'll call it five. As, well, dy dx is, and we use this second version of the function here. It's easiest to differentiate. We're going to get minus one over x minus two, all squared. Well, that is less than zero for every x. There are no turning points. So the function does behave very simply. It just comes down from here to link up and this way. So we can now sketch in uh, the curve. Let me say one other thing, by the way, something I can't do here on a whiteboard, but you can. It's always easier to draw a curve with your hand on the inside. So if necessary, turn your paper around. And I can't do that on a whiteboard, obviously. So I'm going to start here, come through a half, through one, down here. Hopefully meet up and start here. Come down and meet up that way. And that is our sketch.